What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install vehicle search and sticky wheels. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans. And God bless Israel. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install vehicle search and sticky wheels for your LSPDFR. So let's go ahead and click that first link down there guys. I'm going to jump right into it. This is vehicle search. I'll we'll bring you to this page right here, Vehicle Search 2.1.7. All right, guys, um, so just scroll on down, click Download This File, click Agree and Download, and click this bottom one right here that says version 217.zip. Hope you guys are having a great week so far, you're enjoying my videos, and you're happy where you want to be in life, and staying consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. Always good to do that, guys. What do you want to do with vehicle search? Well, guys, you can click save right here, and I'll throw it immediately into your uh, directly into your downloads folder. Or I recommend you click save as, just like this, and scroll up in your file explorer right here. Make sure you're in the section that says right. It's right below where it says this PC, and click desktop, and then click save. This will put this mod on your desktop for you. Okay, that'd be either that way to be ready to go, and you ain't got to pull it on your desktop. So we're going to the next one, Sticky Wheels. We're going to click right here. And it's going to say Sticky Wheels 0200, okay? Go ahead and scroll on down and click Download This File. Agree and Download. All right. And then I am going to showcase this mod for you guys. We're going to go in the game. I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, what do you want to do with Sticky Wheels? Uh, again, guys, save it to your downloads folder or click Save As and put it to your desktop. Let's cancel that out. Close this out and get down to business. Now, guys, this is just going to take your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. We're not into the Open IV modifications yet. I'm going to show you guys something. See this folder I have right here? This is Open IV modifications. All these folders you see down through here is going to be part of the tutorials, okay? Except for these right here. These, well, these are, but this is for Red Dead Redemption 2. So, the reason I have this right here is I want to show you guys something. These are all of the, uh, the, these are all of the uh, Open IV modifications that we're going to be installing, okay? Everything you see right here is what we're going to be installing in Open IV, all right? All right? When that, part, when that part comes. So, that's why you guys see all these folders up here. Now, these are the plugins, and these are the plugins that we have left to install, okay? So, everything that you see right here, that's what we have left to install into LSPDFR as far as plugins go. So, like I told you guys, we did our fresh install the, ver the first day. And we're going to do all the plugins except for Vocal Dispatch. Vocal Dispatch will be the absolute last thing that we install into LSPDFR in a tutorial, okay? There's a reason why I'm doing it this way, okay? Trust me on it, guys. Anyway, guys, we're going to, this will be the plugins we're installing. It's what we got left to do. Today, we are doing these two right here, all right? Those two right there. I'm going to go in the game and show you guys how vehicle search works. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and open up your GTA 5 main directory, just like that. And then double click that vehicle search right there. And it's going to pull this up right here. Now the only thing you got to do, guys, I'm going to show you a little trick. See this readme text, guys? If you want to know how to install this, most of these mods come with readme text. Click that readme text. Alright, and right here you'll see where it says installation. See that? Drag vehicle search.dll and vehicle search.ini into your plugins folder in your GTA 5 main directory. So, all that means, guys, all that means is you want to go over here to your main directory and click plugins. Just like that. So, you want to be in your plugins folder. You want to be in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5, plugins. Okay? You're going to highlight the INI and the DLL, just as it said. Just like that, you're going to grab them, drag them to your plugins folder like that, and drop them just like that, guys. Okay, see that? So close out of your WinRAR, right click that shortcut and get rid of it. All right, and then go back to your main directory, and then click refresh, of course, just like that. 
and then double click your sticky wheels it's going to bring this up right here double click grand Theft Auto 5 and then grab that plugins right there grab this plugins right here and pull it in your directory just like this and three two one drop make sure you are above the gta 5.exe when you do that you don't want to throw it in there to just launch your game before you mess everything up all right so refresh that now guys here's what we're going to do go ahead and double click your plugins i'm sorry guys close out your winrar delete your shortcut okay so here's what we're going to do next guys now i've already got a contraband list set to the side so um, I got that saved in my notepad, so every time I reinstall LSPDFR, I can, you know, I have that contraband list. I don't have to um, type it all over again because it is a pretty long list. So double click your plugins folder right there. Okay. Now, right here where you guys see your vehicle search.dll and your vehicle search.ini, um, double click your vehicle search config settings, which is your INI. Double click that. And I'm going to show you guys something. Pull this up into full screen. All right, so right here, guys, this is this is where we are. The key to search a vehicle can be none. Search vehicle keyboard, okay? So I have actually changed mine to J. There's a reason why I have it on J because it just, it just fits for me. It just fits for me, okay? And like I told you guys in the beginning of this, it'd be better if you guys would change it to the way that my controls are because I know for a fact that with the way my controls are set up, nothing's going to clash for you, okay? But you can set it to your own liking if you want to. To where it won't clash, it's completely up to you guys, all right? So I set my key on my keyboard as J, so you push the J to search the vehicle, okay? But remember, make that letter, whatever you make it, make it a letter and make it capital, okay? Going on down, right here is where we are, okay? The odds of finding an item should be at least two, okay? Okay? Default is one out of eight chance, which means there's a one of eight chance of finding items. Now, this is when you're just searching a car, when you find contraband, drugs, open alcohol, that sort of thing. So, the lower the number, the bigger the chance you have of finding so, something. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so, I just put two. Uh, I think yours is like set to, um, I don't know, I can't want to set to, but I put mine on two because I like finding things in people's cars. I like busting drug dealers. That's what I like doing, okay? That's why you guys see me do a lot of drug, um, you know, drug episodes and, and DEA and stuff like that because that's what I love to do. Now, this one right here, guys, I wouldn't really mess with that. Uh, it, it just says it's an, if, if an item is added, how much will it reduce the chance of another item being picked for that door? Default is one, reduces chances by one each time has to be an integer. So, you know... It's default is one. Just leave it that way, okay? Which I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So moving on down. Now you guys see all this stuff right here. This is your cert, your contraband right here, okay? This is how you type in your contraband stuff. So the main one that I use, the only one I really use, is this one right here, okay? So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to highlight that. I want you to hit Control C on your keyboard, all right? And then you're going to move down. And we're going to be in this area right here, guys. See where I'm highlighted? So you're going to go to this last one right here that says Shave Keys. And my baby girl's in here with me, guys. You're going to go Shave Keys. You're going to hit Comma, Space, Control V. Now, make sure the next item you type in, you want to backspace. And just say we're going to put in... Whoops. Rolling papers, okay? That's what we're going to put in. you got to have that little symbol there. It's got to be backspace close to it. And if you want to put another item, make sure you put a comma after that item, okay? But if you want that to be your last item, make sure there is no comma, all right? So that's that's how that works. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, if you guys made any changes, that's pretty much all there is in here. Um, but like I said, guys... Like I said, control V that, put that little mark there, backspace it, and then you can put in something, you know, like I said, like you can put in rolling papers. That's contraband. Now, let me explain this one more time. If you're going to put in another item, then hit comma, space, and put that little mark in again, just like that. All right. 
Backspace it again. Type your next your next item. This is stuff you're going to find in the vehicle when you hit the J. Okay. So when you go to search the vehicle with the J key, then you'll find these items that you're putting in. Okay. But just make sure you're doing it the way that I'm showing you how to do it. So you're going to type in another item. So we're going to say um, a bong. All right. Now just say this is going to be the last item that you're going to put on the list. Okay. So you would not put a comma. If you put a comma after that and it's your last item and you save it and exit out, it's not going to work. It's going to mess everything up. So make sure that comma is erased, okay? All right. I just want to make sure you guys got that. Now, here's what I do, guys. Since I do have a contraband list saved, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So let me click Save on this. All right. And then I'm going to actually uh, go to my notepad. Alright, just like that, and then control zero for open, and I'm going to open up my contraband for vehicle search, which is right here. Now, it's a good idea if you guys make a, a contraband list in there, make sure you copy it all, and then hit control C to copy it, just like that, and put it into a notepad and save it. That way, when you want it, if you have to reinstall it for any reason, you can go back and just grab it like I am right here. I just highlight all this, and I hit control C, okay? Then I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to go back in my vehicle search I and I. All right, and we're going to I'm going to enlarge that window, and I'm going to show you guys how I do this. I'm going to go back down into this area right here. Okay, I'm going to hit Control. Let me make sure I'm in the right area. Control, Control V. See that? It puts all of my all of my contraband in. I've got a baggie of Xanax, a baggie of Quantipins, Somas, Joints, Roaches, 9mm ammo, shotgun, um, Winchester 12 gauge shotgun, shotgun shell, a box of shotgun shells. And notice, guys, the last item on my list. Sorry about that, guys. Let me go back. Notice the very last item on my list. What does it not have? It does not have a comma, okay? Because it cannot have a comma. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and save mine again. All right, and that's pretty much all there is that you guys can put whatever you want there Just make sure that you've got this letter highlighted and your control V in that down through there backspace and typing into it comment it and then don't put a comma on your last item. Okay, so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and click save again for mine Because I have a lot of contraband uh, And then I'm gonna close out and then we're gonna go back to the main directory guys Sorry for that long introduction there on how to do that. I just want to make sure you guys understand what's going on and then click refresh one more time in your directory. Close out of that. Okay, guys. Right. So once we get everything installed and once we're done, here's what I want you to do, guys. So the way that you're going to launch this, because it has to be launched from the radio settings box, the vehicle search, and the sticky wheels, okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to click rage and hold down your left shift key immediately, okay? So one, two, three, click rage, hold down left shift key. Just keep holding it. Keep holding it down. Until this box pops up. Now, let's go over to plugins right here, guys. Go down to load these plugins on startup. And then click check all. See how vehicle search and sticky wheels is right there. It has to be loaded with this. Or you can load it by the console. Keep it up. I figure I'll tell you to go ahead and load it like this. That way it'll be ready to go when you get in the game. Okay? And then go back up and click load all plugins on startup. And then just click save and launch. And I will see you guys inside of the game. Okay, guys, so here we go with the, with the vehicle search and sticky wheels. So, first off, guys, the easiest part of your sticky wheels is just simply this right here, okay? So, when you pull up behind your suspect and you can turn the wheels, you get out of the vehicle. You get out of the vehicle, and your wheels stay the way that you leave them turned, just like that. See? That's all sticky wheels is, guys. And I'm going to tell you the reason they put that in the game is because... Um, in real life, when police pull up behind you, they actually turn their wheels out towards the traffic so that if they were to get rear-ended, their car would go out towards the traffic instead of hitting the suspect in front of them. They have pulled over. See what I'm saying? Makes sense. So, now on the vehicle search, guys. We are going to um, pull somebody over this guy over right here. We've messed this up. Dispatch, give me a 1028 on a 23 Tom George Boyd 287. Target license plate. 23 Tom George Boyd 287. A traffic violation. A warrant issued. 
Proceed with caution. Oh, this is probably not going to be good either, guys. We're just going to get them out. I'm just going to get them on their face. I'm not going to take no chances. I'm just going to get them out on their face, cuff them. I'm not going to take no chances. Come on, man. Get it on over there, man. Okay, guys, so hit B for backup. Hit B on your keyboard for backup. And hit, click your right thumbstick on your controller for backup. Dispatch, send me some 1199 over here in Rockford Hills. We have an officer in need of assistance in Rockford Hills. Units respond, code 3. All right, driver. Come on out of the car. Get on your face. Get on your face. At, don't you run. Get on your face. Get on your face. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Don't you dare move. Do not move. Hit right on the D-pad, guys, to arrest your suspect or hold E on the keyboard. Press 9 for transport. Backup needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Rockford Hills. This is Ocean 1. We can get that. In the back, right here. Slow. Don't you dare get in that car, man. Don't you dare get in that car. Get out of that car. Get out of there. Get out. No, do it, man. I'm gonna pop you. Get back in that car. I'm gonna pop you, man. Take him on. Get him on out of here. Where's the transport at? Oh shit! Guys, if your transport isn't showing up fast enough, you can hold down your nine, and it will Let's spawn go. them to the scene. Okay, there comes transport right there. Are you lucky, boy? Get out of here, man. You creep. Man, don't get that close to me. Yeah, I won't stun them once they're cut. Cut. Thank you. All right, so you walk up to the car, hit the hit your search key, whichever one you picked for your search key. See, now that's what a search really looks like, guys. That's what it really looks like. Shave keys. We're gonna go to the back. Broski, what are you doing here? So weird. Look, it won't knock him down, but it still gives me the option to search you. And look, you can shoot him. You can shoot him, and it still won't do any damage to him. Like, it will not... Okay, he's gone. That's right, so we're going to search the back of the car. Get your search key just like that. Just like that. Open alcohol on a weapon. All right, and hit the search button on this side of the car. You can search literally every side of the car. The, the passenger door, driver's side door, uh, the trunk, the hood. Found some used needles. All right, there you go, guys. That is pretty much it for the vehicle search. A burnt spoon, a fully loaded magazine, and a scale. All right, we're going to call for police smart radio. Hit the C on the keyboard. Hit X to go down. Dispatching 1185 in Rockford Hills. Click Z on your tow truck. All right. So that is pretty much it, guys, on the vehicle search uh, and your sticky wheels. Uh, there's really not much to it. But thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate the love and support as always, guys. Um, guys, you know I am dedicating this entire series to a very good friend of mine. Her sister has come down with some kind of condition that's caused her to use, uh, caused her, caused her to lose uh, full use of her legs. And she's been going through a lot right now, uh, guys. She's just going through so much. She's got hospital bills stacked up. Her doctor's visits are costing her, and she has, she actually has a GoFundMe account. If you guys will look down in my description, it'll be, it'll be down there, her GoFundMe account for Gamer Diana's sister's GoFundMe. Click on that, guys. If you could spare a few dollars, they, I would greatly appreciate it, and I'm sure they would, too, guys, to help pay for her doctor bills and stuff. But it just touches my heart, guys, to know that somebody's out there and they can't walk and use their legs. So, guys, it's really sad. And I'm not really too sure what happened. I read this story once, but I can't really remember what happened. Um, and if I was really on duty, I would pull that guy over right now for improper passing. So, anyway, guys... Just click that GoFundMe account. Uh, you know, don't donate to my PayPal, guys. It's going to be down there in my Google Docs. But please do not donate to my PayPal, guys. If you guys are planning on donating to me at all, just give it to her instead. Please, guys. Thank you guys for my video. I appreciate the love and support. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.